Hello, hello. So I wanted to do a pick a card for your spiritual path. I let it simmer. I let the card simmer with this beautiful dream amethyst. And now I will have you choose between the number one and seven. You can pick as many as you want. It can represent days of the week. Few, few months ahead so if you want to stop this recording a little bit so one card one tarot card and one oracle card for each of you guys if you want to pick more than one you're welcome so I'm not gonna know <laughs> write a comment if you want to write a comment about if this works for you if it resonates I'd be happy to read it okay so pick, a, pick a card pick a number between one and seven okay number one Revelation, Queen of Wands. It has happened. You have awakened. You've have maybe for a while now because if if you're if this represents you, you know you know things. You've you've read about spiritual path. You know where you are. You know who you are. But maybe lately you've had another revelation. And this is a great card because revelation means once you get one, yeah, you get a few until you like. You get your one. So if it hasn't happened yet, it's coming. If it happened, it's not gonna stop. But this is a great, great way to know that you're on the right on the right track. I love the Queen of Wands. Maybe she's hiding her heart a little bit. Maybe open your heart just a little bit more. Just a bit. Heart chakra. Green. Pink green. <gasps> Number two. The Magician and Transformation. Okay, so number two feels like you've just realized that you have everything you need to become who you want to become, to transform. Or have you transformed and now you're like, oh, okay, I know what to do. I have the tools. I have the tools and I have the tools to transform. Either one, this is great. Transformation is always a good card because it's great it's like you die a little bit and then you're reborn oh that's beautiful see it this is the um what is it the goddess power very powerful oracle the magician i love magician cards you just know you know you know things yeah you're magical magician and you're transforming number three Walking away. Ooh, number three. Forgiveness and walking away. Eight of Cups, it's like you've been through the cave, maybe a little bit of a dark night of the soul, and you need to forgive people and forgive yourself. You have to forgive the parts that uh, the parts of yourself that you didn't like, that you still don't like. You have to live with them, you have to embrace them. Because shadow and light, we all have it. But see it here. Eight of Cups, you are walking through the light. You've coming, you're coming from the, the cave there, the shadow, walking through the light. Ah, <gasps> beautiful. But you have to forgive yourself, forgive other people to choose the light. That's great. Number four. Oh. <laughs> Number four, Ace of Swords. Communion. You are become one with your truth. Union between spirit, body and soul, everything. You are, you've seen the light. You've seen what you need to do. You've, you know what you need to do and you're doing it. Or it's beginning. You're beginning the process and you're like, oh, this, this, this. And, and then you just journal it, write it down. And then you'll become one with spirit. This is great. Number five. Oh, <laughs> it's 
spiritual path, bringing a new lover or a new beginning? Are you falling in love with yourself? Are you being bringing balance between your uh, divine feminine and divine masculine and beginning new? Or is a new relationship bringing you to your spiritual path? Is this coming? I feel like it's coming. Because you're starting your spiritual path or you're at, you're at the place where it's going to bring new love. This is cute. This is cute because we know that when it's about spiritual path and bringing new love, ooh, it's often something big like soulmate. Soulmate big. Number six, radical acceptance and tree of wands. This reminds me of another reading that I did. Radical acceptance is like, it is what it is. This is the reality. This is what I have to deal with. You deal with it. And once you do that, you know where you're going. And you know what you're waiting for. You, you stop waiting for stuff that's never going to happen. Or you stop waiting for wishful thinking. And you quit trying to manifest something that is not for you. That's not for your higher good because you've ex accepted. You've accepted something, a part of yourself or reality or a, a part of someone so that you can manifest and wait for the right thing to come to dock your, uh, for the boat to dock. Mm. Number seven. Oh, oof. okay. Number seven. Listen to me. You need to rest. You've gone through something major. You need to rest. And that's going to be your salvation. Look at her. She's like, she's really a good, look at that good soul. She's watching over you. You need to rest. You see here, you know, resting in the bed. Sometimes, and I get it, I've been through this. You start your, your spiritual path and you're like, oh my God, it's so great. And then you do tons and tons of stuff. And then you're like, oof. You have to learn things and take time to process it. You need time. And then it's going to be your salvation. But also salvation could be resting. You need to rest. Number seven, you need to rest. So guys, I hope it helped. Write me a comment if it did. And otherwise, I'll see you soon.